Hello, and welcome to my first 3D XNA tutorial. So today, I'll be teaching you how to use Blender to integrate your 3D models into a three-dimensional XNA game that you can eventually play on your Xbox or just on your computer. So, this is just your starting screen. Uh, you can look up other Blender tutorials to help you but I am going to be right back with a finished model and after that I will show you how to skin it and eventually how to integrate it into your XNA game okay so here's a little car thing I just made uh, just a pretty basic model made it pretty quickly uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go online get some textures for it it uh, doesn't really matter what I choose, but I'm going to go for a metallic texture. Let's see what they've got. Just download anything. This looks fine. going to save it into here and I'm going to have to convert this into a PNG so this will take one second I'm just gonna copy it really quickly into paint.net and and I'll save it as a PNG. Alright, there we go. Saved. Now, back to Blender. So, let's say I want to texture this model. So, the first thing I would do is I would go up here and I'm going to change the view from default to composting okay so here we are this is our model and this is where our image will be displayed so the first thing we'll do is we'll open a new image and we will find the one that we would like. So here's my metallic texture right over here. And as you can see, my model is broken up into different meshes. So I recommend that each part of your model should stay separate. It makes things a lot easier when you get to coding. Um, so yeah, I'll just texture this body. And so we'll go into edit mode. And I'll just select the entire thing, and I'll stick a metallic texture onto it. So what I'll do is I'll go into Mesh, go to UV Unwrap, and I will unwrap. So in order to see what we have done, I'm going to change the viewport sh shading from solid to texture. That way we, we can see how it looks. I go back to object mode. This is what this mesh will look like when we're rendered on X and A. Yeah, so I think that looks pretty good. Um, so basically, for every single mesh, I'm going to select a different texture. Um, yeah, so I'll gather a few other textures. Um, I guess any of these are fine. Um, just gonna play it safe and save it as a PNG file. Okay. Now back to 
blender. And I will open the tire texture. You let's see if I can do these all at once. Make things a lot easier. Sure, whatever, that one just looks different. But anyways, the model is done. I've scanned the entire thing, and the point of this isn't to look great. It's just to get the point across to teach you how to do things. Okay, that's weird. Uh, let's save this guy. And... I can go ahead and I can export this baby, and it should be good. That's my doge. Okay. So I'm gonna go up here. First I'm gonna save it, make sure it's all good. And those of you who may or may not get an error that says that scaling is off. The way you do that, the way you fix it, is Make sure you're in object mode, click on object right here, go to apply, and then click on scale, and that will zero everything out for you, and you won't have any issues when you're trying to export it. So now, you go to export, you go to Autodesk FPX, and you will export it. Okay. I guess you gotta do that for every single object. Um, I'm about to apply rotation and scale from all of them. Okay, let's see if this one. Let's see. 